a man would inherit X chromosome, obviously, from the mother. Because the mother has two X chromosomes. And then the father has an X and a Y. And for us to have a male, is a Y that must be produced into fertilization with that X which is coming from the mother, giving us an X and a Y for a male. Now, short segments at either end of the Y chromosomes are the only regions that are homologous with the regions of X, the short ends. And so the rest differ remarkably. So these homologous regions allow X and Y chromosomes in males to pair and behave like homologs during meiosis in the testis. Of course, that is where the, the, the production of sex cells occur in males. So the two must come together with that homologous arrangement that we have always been talking about, the pairing up of homologs, so that meiosis can go to completion. And those regions would serve for that purpose. What next? Now, in mammalian testes and ovaries, the two sex chromosomes segregate during meiosis. So, when we have the 23 pairs, first meiotic division will separate these homologs, which are now in the sister chromatid stage, and the second meiotic division will separate sister chromatids as well. And so we are saying that every gamete arising from a division in females will have an X chromosome in the egg. However, in the case of males, because we're talking about X and Y, when segregation occurs, a fraction of the gametes will receive X and a fraction will receive Y. That's why we are saying that they fall into two categories. Half the sperm cells and male producers receive X chromosome and the other half receive Y chromosome. And so for those of you who are males out there, it's as a result of a successful fertilization between the X gamete egg and the Y containing gamete, the Y from the sperm that brought about a masculine feature and females X and X. That's the basis for sex as far as the chromosomal levels are concerned.